Hey, what's up? It's Paul Solt from Super Easy Apps, and we're doing a video on uploading to the App Store. I haven't done this in probably a month. Uh, I tried to submit it a month ago-ish and got rejected. Um, so just going through the motion of trying to get that approved again. I'm trying to get on test flight. I can't get on test flight because it was removed from sale because I didn't update it a really long time ago. Um, because there's so many little things that you've seen me fixing. Um, I just didn't have time to do that working full time. And I had other apps I was working on. So I'm really trying to get this ready to update. So I'm trying to figure out how to get this out there. So I have two, 353. I don't remember if I'm manually updating this or not. Or if it's going to do that automatically. So let's just see what happens. <clears throat> I'm going to archive and you need to keep it on, on a real device target. It'll archive It's still saying 351. So I'm hoping that if I distribute this fixed updated, well, it's doing something. It's updating and removing the window. Hopefully I can type. So this is near App Store ready, I would say. I just want to see if there's anything that I really need to prioritize. And so this is a new screen. Um, I, I haven't really seen this before. I think I saw it briefly the last time I tried to, um, but it's, I don't know what all these new things are, so I might need to learn about that. So let's go to App Store Connect. I can't get test flight builds. And that's the most frustrating thing. I can't get test flight builds because it's not on the app store. So I have a chicken and egg problem. In order to get test flight builds to install, they fail. So I have them, you can download, but then it says failed to install on the actual iPhone. And so I had a customer, I was trying to get a beta build out. Can't do it until it's on the app store. So we're just gonna need to make a release. It's not gonna be perfect. You just need to fix enough to get it back on the app store so that this customer can get the app again. And this is so much faster with uh, M3 Mac. I was working on an Intel Mac for a long time and I finally got the M3. All right, so, um, and it just builds way faster. It's, it's quiet and it builds fast and I super, super, super love it. <laughs> okay, so... I don't know how to fix this issue. Apparently I had a different identifier before and I have a new identifier now. Um, I don't have keychain, so it doesn't really matter for this app. If I had that, I'd probably care more about this, but since I switched computers, I think this is like 10 years ago, I might've had a different identifier and I don't know if I can find it again. I, this stuff is like confusing. So I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna hit done. That warning will go away, I think, on my next App Store update once I get it. We can try and validate the app just to make sure I'm not missing anything. If you're missing certain icon sizes, I had to add a bunch of icon sizes because they just didn't exist because there was no... Uh, we have a plethora of new devices. I'll just, I'll just say that. So... New devices mean new icon sizes as well as new screenshots that you need to put into the App Store Connect. So while that's going, let's just pull this open. I'll move this to the side. So over here, we should see a new build at some point. So we can see it's processing. And I'm hoping I don't have to like juggle, I'm hoping that all this automatic logic for the version number, I don't have to juggle a bunch of things and resubmit. Like it's supposed to take care of that for me. It was pretty frustrating every time I've worked with this. Um, okay, so this is my submission, got rejected. And they're showing, I think that it crashed somewhere. So the camera button I think was crashing, so they couldn't couldn't add from there. And then this one, 
is probably the crash log. Okay, that's what I was looking at last time. And they have another crash log. So if we just take a look at one of those crash logs and sort of see, did this finish? Okay, so this didn't give me anything to verify, so that should be good to go. Um, so if you get rejected and, and it's crashing, they'll give you a crash log and may or may not be useful to read. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this app has crashed because it attempted to access privacy-sensitive privacy data without a usage description. The app's info plist must contain a usage description or NS camera usage description. Um, explain to the user how the app uses that. So that is one thing I did have to fix. Um, so if we go into here, photo table info, I had to add this to the info P list and say photo table can take photos and add them to your album. So that is what I needed to get that to pass. So actually it wasn't, it was just a privacy issue. So again, older app never had to do this before to access the camera. Now you do. And that's what was crashing. Okay. So they gave us some steps, which is super helpful. And then um, some details on this, and then uh, we can reply or, or do something. So I need to fix that. So my new build, I should be able to push up there. And I'm going to say add for review, newer build available. Okay, so in order... To do this, we've got to do this and just take a screenshot so I have a reference. So it looks like by default, it's going to submit the same one, which I don't want to do. So it says delete this earlier build and resubmit. Okay, so was it this one that I have to delete? Let's just take a screenshot of this because this is the last one. Do I know if this was actually submitted? Build. Okay, wait, there's an option here. So I think that's what they're talking about. So here we've got to hit that delete. We add a build. That was not clear where I needed to delete it. So I want 354, which is the latest one. Make sure that I have the app icon. Got my contact info in there and I saved that. We should now have the latest thing. Let's say add for review. Don't know what that means. Let it continue. Ah, <sighs> just submit a game. Okay, so I can't review it. This is some new thing that just came out. I remember getting an email about this. We had Game Center. I had to take it out because they wouldn't approve it a long time ago. A long time ago, we had multiplayer, so you could throw images between iPads or iPhones and connect using Game Center. And then they're like, you can't use this for a non-game. I was like, okay. 
So I took it out, but apparently I still have some kind of entitlement. I don't know if I have to make a new build without Game Center. Okay, can we remove the entitlement? Oh, Xcode might have added this automatically. Okay, so let's archive this. So anytime you're working on something, um, you're gonna run to issues. Oh boy. Okay, let's come back. What would happen if I enable this? I mean, I would love to add this back. Okay, if that's just optional, can I add for review? Okay, and Okay, I'll just add that comment there and resubmit. I don't know exactly what this Game Center entitlement means, but I guess it's how I enable certain things. It'd be super cool to add that back. Um, I don't know how much work that is. So it's like super low priority. All right, so we are waiting for review. All right, that's awesome. Um, if you accidentally submit, you can always cancel down at the bottom. And then if we go back, here, so waiting for review is the new status. So this is the current uh, last um, submitted version. So this is removed from sale from the App Store, and that's preventing me from being able to do test flight. Now, the other thing in here is you're going to have different iPhone sizes. So you get the 6.7 inch display, 6.5 inch display, the 5.5 inch display. I, th I think one of these um, wasn't easy to make. We're kind of in a limbo period. I think it was this one uh, or one of these. I don't remember. Um, but I had to juggle some hoops to get those. Same with these two. Just providing the iPad sizes. One of these is with uh, the top and bottom sort of borders, the old style, and then the newer one is just the swipe up from the bottom. So this had the physical button, this one doesn't.
So you need all these different icons. There's all sizes that you can look at here, which will show you a ton more. This will automatically use one of the other sizes and sort of downscale it so it just fits, which is super helpful because otherwise that's a enormous amount of content. Um, these don't even exist anymore, but these were the original App Store screenshots um, that I had on here. So you could just see what those, I used to do some postcards, um, took that out, I think. I don't know if the service still exists. Then Facebook and Flickr took that out because it didn't keep it up to date with their APIs. It's super annoying working with one of their APIs because you have to update it every two years. Otherwise you get blocked. And there's so much so much busy work. Um, so I decided I'm not gonna integrate with any of those ever again, unless there's like a compelling need. I don't have music anymore. Um, so you can't get to these. Um, I probably have to take those off at some point, but those are the old screenshots and I just have to use these two new sizes. So that is sort of the submissions page. Um, app privacy. I took out all the analytics, so I'm not collecting any analytics anymore, and I can sort of see stuff. People were commenting in 2016 that it was crashing, needs to be updated. So people did like the app when it wasn't crashing, and hopefully uh, with this new version, we can get back on the App Store and they'll like it again. So if you're interested in checking it out, I'll probably have a test flight build in an upcoming video where you can try out PhotoTable and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.